MicroSurvey CAD 2019 is powered by the new IntelliCAD 9. You can open, edit, and save AutoCAD 2018 format DWG files, attach Revit and IFC BIM models, and it includes many new commands, bug fixes, and other improvements. So I'm going to start on the Express Tools tab with my favorite new command, which is Arc Align Text. I'm just going to uh, zoom over here to an arc, and when I run the command, I'll just uh, pick an arc. And this is something that uh, users have been asking for for a long time, so I'm really glad we have it now. Uh, enter in a text, uh, say street frontage, set my height, offset, different options. And you can see what it's done is it's placed the text along the arc. Now unlike our old arc text command where it would create individual letters and place them uh, along the arc, this is still a single arc text object. So if you need to edit it, for example, if you had a typo, you just run the command and, uh, and you can make whatever changes you need. You can change uh, formatting, for example, instead of having it stretch all the way across the arc, maybe you want it uh, just centered in the middle. Uh, maybe we want to place it on the other side. You know, whatnot, you can make, make changes uh, very easily. The exciting thing with this command is that moving forward into future versions, I'd like to expand our microsurvey arc labeling commands to use a similar functionality. Okay, so um, moving along with the Express tools, um, some new block tools. You can convert uh, blocks to external references, and you can copy and list items that are within a block or an external reference. So if you've got a, a block or an XREF drawn in uh, and you want to look at an individual piece or copy an individual piece out of that, uh, that block, you can do that now. A uh, bunch of other new text commands to along with ArcLine text. Um, uh, changing text case is a new one. So if we want to say uh, reformat this, this lot text and maybe change it either to uh, you know, all lowercase or switch it to title case. You can see uh, how easy that is. Uh, rotating text, fitting and justifying text are new. Auto numbering, so you can add a prefix to multiple pieces of text if you've got, uh, say, say uh, bullet type uh, items. Converting text to multi-line text, this one's really cool. Um, so if we want to select our multiple pieces of individual text, see it converted it to a single mtext object. And if I edit that you can see it's now just a, a single multi-line text. I'm just going to undo that, get back to the original text, and if I run that again, text to multi-line text, and go into the settings command, uh, return to settings, see some options here. So you can either maintain the uh, the order that they are in the drawing, or you can use the selection set in order to basically rearrange the text if you if you want to or need to. And and this option here, create word wrap m text. This lets you if you've got say a, a paragraph where it's it's broken up into multiple pieces of text that don't have a, a natural um, end of line or a natural break between each line, you can choose that, and that will. Um, let them let them wrap naturally within the multi-line text object. In this case I don't want to do that because I want to keep these three uh, lined up as they are, but just to show you if I turn that on and select them, you can see now it's it's wrapped them within the multi-line text. Oops, I did too far. Um, Scaling text is new, and enclosing text with shape, this is uh, a nice one. So if we want to pick, say, this uh, 10, and uh, say put a, a circle around it, and some other shapes that it can do, um, also include uh, rectangles or, or squares around it, as well as slots. And if we do uh, slots, you can see it creates a uh, just a, a rounded rectangle. Uh, it's it's just a polyline. Uh, so that's a that's a couple other nice new text commands that we have. Um, dimensioning uh, let you uh, reassociate. And if we go to the tools here, uh, move, copy, rotate. So the, uh, this um, Moco Row is a Express tool that some AutoCAD users 
uh, may know. Basically it just combines the individual move, copy and rotate uh, CAD commands into a single command. And the multi-line styles manager is new. So we've had multi-line uh, here for a little while and if I just draw, I'm just going to come off to the side here. So I'm just going to draw a multi-line uh, over here and this is something you were able to do before. But what we have that's new now is the multi-line style editor. And you can create multiple styles or I'm just going to edit the standard style that I'm using here. And uh, just for kicks I'm going to add uh, caps to the start and end of the multi-line. I'm going to add another offset line. We'll leave it offset at zero so it runs right down the middle. Let's maybe change the color to yellow. And you can see we've got uh, a, a new style there. We've modified the style. Uh, so, so that makes the multi-lines more functional than they were before. And uh, let's just uh, continue on here. If we jump over to the draw tab, we've got uh, these construction lines are new. So these let you draw um, construction lines or, or uh, infinite lines um, in, in different ways. So uh, rather than using the horizontal, let's do uh, both horizontal and vertical. And maybe we want to put a line at the uh, corner of your building here uh, just to get the uh, intersections with these other property lines, say. So uh, these construction lines, these are, these are great for just creating uh, temporary lines. They are uh, infinite, so as, if we zoom out, you see that they, they run as, as long as you need them to. And um, they're, they're good for uh, just using as, as temporary guides if you want to uh, snap or, or create other objects uh, relative to, to these. Um, so aside from uh, the horizontal and vertical ones, you can create them uh, at different angles, you know, align them to different entities. Um, if we pick the line, we get one along there. Uh, we can, you know, bisect uh, arcs or two different uh, uh, lines. Uh, so lots of different ways to, um, to create these uh, construction lines. Uh, if I move along to the Draw 3D tab, we've always had these uh, 3D meshes, um, but what we've got now is facet model meshes. So the same purpose, they let you model 3D objects in, in uh, uh, using these uh, just basic um, shapes. So if I create, say, uh, a cube, let's put a cylinder at the corner of it and maybe a sphere over here and let's maybe put another sphere down here. So the difference now between these and the existing 3D meshes, which draw meshes or, or uh, polyface meshes, they're, they're basically just uh, fancy polylines, is we have these new commands that let you manipulate them using Boolean operations. I'm just going to erase this construction line and my multi-lines to get them out of the way. So for example, if we want to create a union between the cube and this cylinder, it combines them into a single object. So instead of having the two crossing, it's now just one single object uh, combining the two. Uh, similarly, if we want to subtract maybe from our, our new shape here, let's remove this uh, sphere out of the corner of it. And you can see it, it cuts that out. Uh, the other one that's that's useful is intersecting, and this will create the uh, uh, shape uh, consisting just of the the combination or the intersection of those two. So if we select um, our shape there and this sphere, the intersection is the common portion between them. So if you're into uh, your own 3D modeling and creating your own uh, 3D geometric objects, uh, those uh, can give you um, a new way to do that. Erase these construction lines. Okay, um, some other new commands here. Well, not new, but uh, we, we had the AEC commands for drawing walls, doors, and windows. Uh, these were new in, in the last release, but they've been expanded now with many different styles. So instead of being stuck with a single uh, style for your walls, doors, and windows, 
uh, we've got uh, multiple different styles now of walls, several different doors, you know, single doors, double doors, all, all that, and several different window styles. So if I want to model a uh, building based on this uh, footprint here, I'm just going to convert these to a wall. And maybe we'll place a, uh, a single door along this wall, and maybe I'll put it uh, 10 feet from the corner. Let's place a window, maybe this uh, glider type in here, and we'll put that, say, uh, four feet from the side. And you can see we've got uh, these, these uh, you know, nicely modeled uh, building elements. Uh, if we want to add, say, an overhead door to make a, a garage bay, I'll just place it in there. And we can use the properties which have now been expanded for, for setting these different types of things. So um, we can change the style of a door. I'm going to leave it as overhead and change the width. And let's make it uh, 15 feet wide. And let's just uh, drag it over. So very easy to uh, model uh, buildings very quickly uh, to place within your scene or within your drawing. Under the Insert tab, we've got a new button here for BIM Underlay. Uh, this lets you attach Revit and IFC format BIM models. And this is going to be demonstrated more in the point prep video. For now, I'm going to skip over it, but do see that movie for more details. And I'll switch over to the View tab. And we've got this new Tool Palettes command. So if you turn the tool palettes on, it gives us this panel along the side of the window, and this can be moved around or docked in different places if you want. Uh, it's a new way to launch uh, some of these most common commands uh, that you might want to use. These tool palettes will be expanded over uh, the next uh, several versions uh, with additional functionality, for example, to use as a content manager for dragging and dropping blocks into your drawing and, and that sort of thing. So, so there is new functionality coming for now it's just for uh, running these uh, these commands. And uh, on the view tab, Artisan, this is a new rendering system. And again, this is going to be demonstrated in another video that you can see. And with the properties panel, I mentioned that it was expanded with being able to set uh, properties for for additional types of objects and, and additional properties for those objects. Um, just going to make a big selection set here, get a bunch of different stuff. Now you've always had this pull down list here to, to see the different objects that are in your selection set. What we have new is this uh, button here which toggles between the list and a tree control which lets you uh, break it down a little bit differently. So some users may prefer the list, some may prefer this, and um, can filter your list down to you know just a smaller uh, number of those if you want. I'm sure there's a ton that I'm missing, uh, but that's a, a good overview of a lot of the most uh, most important new things uh, for IntelliCAD 9 and MicroSurvey CAD 2019. Thank you for watching.